All right, let's take a look at some news captures before we... Investigate the hottest controversies in today's news. The in your face, hard hitting show. Welcome to Online Jack. Okay, get ready, all you netizens out there. Today's Jack target is Doll Syndrome. Have you heard of it? It's the mystery mm. illness that's spreading like wildfire among grade schoolers. Uh -huh. It causes verbal and mental defects that leave victims non responsive. That's right, this disease turns children into lifeless dolls. Oh no! But we'll fight back. To combat this earth shattering crisis, we at Online Jack started an investigation. I, Salvador Ihara, will save the world! Uh huh. It's called Doll Syndrome, a truly mysterious illness. Some scientists tell us the cause is endocrine disrupting chemicals, but what I want to showcase here is this book. Internet games are turning our kids into dolls, a warning about Doll Syndrome. Taichiro Sugai, a professor from Takeuma University, wrote the book and lives here. According to his book, Doll Syndrome's root cause is none other than online games. Online games, famous games such as the world, perhaps. I love them too, but he says that online games and their more than 12 million participants all living out their virtual dreams are the cause. You uh -huh. remember that several years ago, the world game was found to be responsible for players being put into a coma. Could it be that it's also causing the dreaded doll syndrome? Are these online games nothing but a blight upon our society? If the professor feels that way, then let's see what he has to say. Let us begin the interview. What do you want? You know how late it is? Hey there, I'm the host of Online Jack, Salvador Ihara. I have a few questions about your book, Online Games Are Turning Our Kids Into Dolls, A Warning About Doll Syndrome. Hmm. Nope. Ah. Ah. Can you believe this guy? Open up, Professor Sugai. We want to talk to you. You've just come to make fun of my book, haven't you? Get away from here! If you don't explain yourself on camera, sir, you'll make yourself look even more suspicious. I don't have to explain myself. All I did was publish the results of my own independent research. Ha, you say independent research. But isn't it true that your sources themselves are questionable? Not as questionable as you! Well then, prove to us that your sources are credible! If you do, we won't bother you anymore, Professor. No! Give me a break. Who would believe you? And another thing, I'm an associate professor. Okay. Uh huh. Well, we were turned down by associate professor Sugai, but to follow our own independent research, we went undercover into the very elementary school that Sugai was investigating. This is the elementary school where associate professor Sugai was conducting his study on Doll syndrome. Is a killer disease stalking the children of this ordinary elementary school? Let's take a look. Hmm. Hey there, boys and girls. There's no need to fear. Salvador Ihara is here. Who are you? We're in the middle of class. Oh, and what is this vision of loveliness that graces our presence. Hello, Senorita. What? You and I can save the world together. Viva Salvador! Oh my God. Here we are in the teacher's lounge. I haven't been to one of these since the days when I used to peep under girls' skirts. If you want to film in here, you need to get permission first. But the whole purpose of the show is it's undercover. You entertainment people have no decency. You're so beautiful when you're angry. Oh Stop my that. god. What are you investigating? Doll syndrome. Miss Michiru Tajima, teacher of fourth grade class <gasps> one. <laughs> And to be continued. Well, we'll see more of that soon enough. R2 breaks the 2 million mark. Or the 12 million mark, what was it? 12 million copies worldwide. Cool.
nation unified on num citizen numbering system. The Online Administration Act received a majority vote of the ruling party, meaning the adoption of the citizen numbering system seems to be inevitable. As a result, the process of converting to an electronic government has overcome its final hurdle. Uh huh. Deleted data, ongoing. Okay. CC Corp employees happy in new office. After having suffered a huge fire in 2015, CyberConnect Japan's new home office has now been completed. Subsequent investigations determined that a spark from electrical equipment led to the blaze two years earlier, resulting in multiple deaths and injuries. Uh-huh. Another accident at CC Corp. Electric shocks, eh? The dark side of the online generation. I'm just skimming through these just... It was discovered that the three armed youths who were responsible for the recent school riot were devoted online gamers. Following this discovery, public criticism of online games increased sharply. Oh, that always happens with any moral panic. It ain't anything new. New space station nearing completion. With the participation of Japan and many other countries, the International Space Station, slated for completion in 2017, is nearly done. As large as a soccer stadium, this fully manned facility will be used for various types of research in a deep space environment. Games to blame for juvenile delinquency. <laughs> Seen that moral panic before. World meaning on global warming. Five Japanese to play in Major League Baseball. Cool. Death by gaming, a worldwide epidemic. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the... You never know, you could... The supersonic passenger jet, ASST, which can attain speeds of over Mach 3, has been officially commissioned. As a result, the amount of time it takes to fly from Tokyo to New York has been shortened from 14 hours to just 4 hours. Yeah, don't I wish some of this were real. Ubiquitous families surpass 70%. I should read some of these. Virtual academics officially begins. New GPS systems widely used. 50% of parents support microchips for children. I swear to God, if I was a child in this kind of era... I'd disown my parents if they ever tried to put a microchip in my frickin' neck. Uh, CC Japan announces new Model M2D. Display your world. For business or for entertainment, the new M2D micro monocle display now on sale. Once you're freed from your mobile, the net opens up in front of your eyes. Kill. Let's see, outdoor introverts. <laughs> in the I old days, when people thought of an online junkie, they envisioned someone locked in their room, glued to their computer 24 hours a day. But today, due to radical improvements in mobile devices, network games can be enjoyed outside and have given rise to a whole new breed of online junkies. I'd use it. I don't care. I'm... I'm an extroverted introvert, I don't care. 
I hate people. I love gatherings. Ain't that ironic? And the Crimson Versus service is down, unfortunately. <laughs> Currently not in service. We don't get that until Volume 2, unfortunately. Alright, let's check the community forums. Looking for own shells. Buzzing ra Delta Buzzing Rasts puzzle. All right, got that. Okay. And here we go, talking about the Twilight Brigade. Okay, that... Oh, It's like me where I... when I'm in Final Fantasy XIV and I wish I could play 1.0 because I never played it. Alright, let's take a look at the Crimson Versus boards. I can't reply to any of these, so... Check the news. Honestly, I'm just skimming through right now because there's nothing really important in here. Unless it's in the world server. Oh, the World Forum. Rumors. Ah, Tan. That is definitely a reference from Dot Hack Roots. Again, you need to watch it. Hmm. 
Ah, the Forest of Pain. Another thing that we don't get to see yet. The Urban Legend. The mystery of the world. Uh huh. Rumor board. Okay, that's it for that. Let's check out App Kalu. And we get to... Nice. Look at that. We'll see more of that, probably. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, And there we go. All right, community forms good. I'll stick with the default, thank you. We're good here. All right. Let's save and begin. 